What's up, everybody? This is Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews. Today, we are going to do a walkthrough tour of Beth Reeves' home gym. She is the owner of Savage Swim. Brittany actually went out there, visited her in Florida, got all this footage for us. I was really wanting to go down there, but the timeline just didn't work out because when I saw her gym, I thought, this is a Lindsay gym. Like, this feels like something I would have so much fun training at. And I haven't seen any of it aside from like the little clips that I've seen on Instagram that she's posted. So I'm actually really excited to do a full video walkthrough of this. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Beth Reeve, owner of Savage Swim, and uh, this is my outdoor gym. Oh my gosh. Like what paradise. I would love an outdoor space like this. This is sick. First piece I ever had was well before I had this house, but it is these uh, Flectec Bowflex adjustable dumbbells. I know those. When I started getting into uh, fitness and weight training, it was actually with P90X. This was probably 14 years ago-ish. I used to do P90X with my dad in our living room when I was growing up. That's how committed I was to fitness at a young age. I would wake up early and do P90X with him. 13, 14 years ago. And I didn't have any room outside, I didn't have a setup, so I bought these, had them in my bedroom. That was all I used for probably like a year. And then uh, I've had them ever since, even outside, so. That's kind of amazing that they've held up for so long. I'm actually surprised, like she keeps all of her equipment outside and some of it is covered, but she said what? She's had these for like 13, 14 years. Solid piece to have here and it can fit in any space. Highly recommended. The racks, I, one rack I had, I brought from my shop because I had a whole setup at um, my Savage Swim uh, showroom out in the parking lot. So I brought one from there, bought another one to have underneath the carport. It's cool to have both in case someone is working out with me, but I use that one for pull up. Obviously, this for a barbell. Okay, so two racks. Britt has two racks. Super useful if you have the space because, again, then you can like do all your waist stuff over here, do muscle ups, pull ups, other types of movements on your other rack. From there, I always loved that GHD machine. So I have a little GHD Roman chair over there that gets used probably four times a week. It's one of my favorite pieces. Cap Strength GHD machine. Probably not too expensive, but if you're looking for something to do a lot of GHD, hypers, you could probably do reverse hypers on it. I mean, honestly, a good a good pick. It protects. It doesn't put a lot of uh, stress on my lower back. Um, it's great to focus on hamstrings and glutes, which was always a weak point of mine in the past. So love it for Brilliant. that. I mean, I live on the beach. It's The beach is 60 seconds on the street. Uh, salt air, everything is going to be rusted as shit. Um, <laughs> doesn't bother me. Everything's dirty, gritty, grimy. I feel like it's just kind of old school and that's how training should be. You're hot and sweating anyways, all outside. Kind of reminds me of like Juji's first videos. You know, just like very raw, train hard, the aesthetic doesn't matter. I love that. So we're not falling on part yet. Still so ain't falling apart yet, guys. The only thing I'm missing is like a bush in a can. Well, if it's not like a crazy <laughs> downpour and I can still hold the equipment or kettlebells and I'll still do it outside or flip tires as long as it's not cold. Yeah, and that's what I want to go through. Let's it's go flip great. some tires back. Kind of as long as I can keep my grip, but if it's cold, rainy, and really crappy, then I'll be in here. This past winter, I'd say probably like 45-ish in the morning when I'm working out. So not too, to, to me that's cold, but... No, 45 Most people have not that bad. Outside. But that only lasts like a month or two. Uh, if it's not raining, I move everything out there so that way I can be in the sun. The air bike, I use that every day for... The assault bike, she has that. One of the best bikes. I'd probably choose assault over anything else. Only because I don't like riding on an echo bike because I feel like such a weenie. And assault, at least I feel like somewhat cool like racking up calories. I warm up. I do uh, intervals on that, sprints. Well, the carport was here when I bought the house, so I knew immediately that that would be the covered area, um, and I wanted the entire driveway to be used for the gym space, so I have it set up with the tires. I can pull these ropes out, the battle ropes, mm -hmm. and so it's fun whenever I do have friends come work out, too, because there's plenty of space for everybody. Come here, Nana. Come here. Come on. She has a, a garage gym dog, too. We're commenting about Charles. 
on my gym tour video. Charles Barkley, you always feel the best garage gym dog. I just started using that. I bought this little attachment for the end of the barbell for uh, landmines. I've been having fun experimenting with that. Tires are fun. This is a little more obviously high rep cardio. That one's a little more of a challenge. This is great for shoulder mobility too. Oh man, what is this called? A hammer? A sledgehammer. Sledgehammer out there, I've never done that. I am barefoot 99% of the time, whether it's pizza. <laughs> I'm charging for this. Here or at my shop, um, I just prefer that. And it also helps to build uh, ankle stability, helps with knee. Yeah, I would say that I probably lift 95% of the time without shoes, maybe 100% of the time now. Like I squat without shoes, I deadlift without shoes. Like unless I'm doing some sort of like high intensity CrossFit piece, all my lifts now are without shoes, and I just feel like so much more stable. And everything else, and not be on like wobbly shoes. I've always been barefoot. It's always like, especially 100 degrees out, super hot and sweaty. I just prefer to be barefoot. I do love reverse lunges though. I don't choose those any day over squats. I really don't do anything body weight unless it's just warm ups, but I do uh, the kettlebells for serious so kettlebells. Most of the time, I focus on those is the barbell with the squat rack. That's when I'm doing like my heavier days. And then um, I always try to do one-legged um, movements with the kettlebells too. Yeah, the battle rope. Yeah, one-legged like RDLs are probably my favorite, not just for like strength purposes, but also just like prehab stuff. I think they're super smart, super useful exercise to do. I forget the weight, it's one of the heavier ones. So it's a little bit of a challenge. Um, love that, the love hate, of course. I uh, do like 30 seconds on and then like 20 seconds off when I'm doing that. I usually finish with that. I don't, it's not usually in the middle of a workout. The bag um, is usually like its own workout or a warm up or a finisher. Uh, probably like twice a week on that. And then my son, actually, I got it for him. He does, uh, he trains Muay Thai. So that's something we can all do together. Well, this one's new. It's the only thing out here without any rust on it yet. I put it together today. Um, my old one fell apart after like eight years of it rusting. It finally was time to go. These guys are old and rusted, but not a problem for those. I do have a sled that I used to use in my old shop that I really miss using. Um, I can't use it on the street because it's way too rough. The driveway is too short and uneven. So at some point, I just have to figure out where, but at some point I want to put a strip of Astro turf just for the sled so I can. She could also get like a Zebex sled because it has big tires. That's what I use. I actually really like it. If you don't have the available space or like surface for that, something like a Zebex sled works really well too. I'm using that again. But I do miss the sled. That was like one of my favorites. I love sled. Sled works great. This is a cool space. I saw she has a rower. I can't tell what kind of rower it is. Landmine setup, super smart, bio box, like nothing fancy. But again, like I talked about this in my home gym tour, you don't have to have like the best equipment to get a good workout. Like you can piecemeal together stuff. Like obviously she has an assault bike, great bike, worth the money. And it's actually not that pricey in my opinion. You know, she's got the Bowflex Selects, lasted her a long time. Also, not the most expensive ad adjustable dumbbell. She's got some rings to do a lot of work. I mean, this is a great gym, especially being like outside all the time. She has enough that she can just like be inside or outside. Again, like if you're worried about aesthetic, don't have an outside gym. But if you're not, then this is great. Be right by the beach. So beautiful. Yeah, that's cool. I love that. I love the colorfulness. I just like her entire vibe. I'd love to come down there, tour it in person, do a workout with you, Beth. Okay, so like, obviously it seems like she does a very different style of training than I do. I'm doing like primarily just lifting and progressive overloading. I don't do a lot with like battle ropes. I don't do a lot with tires but I'm super interested in it. Like if it's gonna like jack up my heart rate and get me a good workout, like honestly, it kind of seems fun. I don't know if it's something like for me personally that I would want to train that style all the time, but I would 100% be down for trying it just because I like trying new things. And I've always wanted to throw around a tire. I've never done that before. So 
kind of curious how I'd do. I think I could do it. I think it would be fun. Honestly, I'm kind of curious about the sledgehammer training. Like that's, I feel like I can really work out some of my inner turmoil with that sledgehammer. Like that might be needed actually. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have like a sick home gym, go ahead and message it to us on our Instagram account. It's Garage Gym Reviews Everything. We'll take a look at it. And then also if you have just like the sickest of sick home gym, I have no approval for what I'm about to say, but I'd love to come and tour it. So let us know. Tag us in your garage gym. Thanks guys for watching. This has been Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews. Thanks, Journey.